Okay, so this is uh, how to build a contact form on Weebly. Um, so, of course, we're at Weebly.com. Um, you can either sign up, or, of course, we have our own page. Uh, it's John Smith at AverageStudentDesigns.com. And our password, of course. And login. Uh, here's our login page, and we're going to go to John Smith's website, and we're going to edit it. So first we're going to go into our Contact Us page, which we created when we first made our site. Notice there's nothing on it yet. Now up here in the Elements, in the Basic, of course you have your Contact Form. Now down here in More, in the more tab you have a forms folder. We're going to click that and you have another you know contact form. You have an RSVP form. You also have a survey. So we're going to drag down the contact form. Alright here's the title for your contact form. So this is a contact form. <coughs> So you have various things in a contact form. This is the name field. You can either make it required or not required. And then you can edit the text to tell people what you want them to do. So I'm just going to put your name here. So now when somebody hovers over the last name or the first name, it says put your name here. So you also have your email and your comment and a submit button. Now if you click anywhere random into the contact form, you'll have your form options. So you can change the name of your form. We're just going to call it contact form. This is where your, your contact form is going to be submitted to and then here's the submission information that pops up after somebody fills out their form. So you can also adjust the alignment, the submission button, um, and all that stuff. Now up here at the top you have uh, various things. This is a drop down box. So you have options 1, 2, and 3. Um, select one, you can make it required or not required. Um, we're going to change the options. So the reason that you're calling or you're, you're filling out the form. And then you can also add more options. And submit. And so now you have your questions down there at the bottom as well. This is the buttons. It's pretty much the same as the drop down where you can change the options and then you can add options. You can make it required or not required. Um, it's just now you have the radio buttons instead of a drop down menu. Now I don't know if you know about radio buttons but radio buttons are what are called boolean so only one option can be shown at a time or can be selected at a time I should say. Now next we have the option of saving our form. So we're just going to save our form. So we're going to go into more and, and into the forms again and we're going to pull down an RSVP form. Now for those who don't know what an RSVP form it's can you make it to a party or not 
Um, it's just very generic. You know, yes, no, maybe, number of additional guests, email, first name, last name, submit. Now we're just going to say that we don't care how many people you want to bring. Now we're just going to click the little X so that we can delete the element in our form. So not only can you add elements, but you can delete elements. And we can go into our form options again. You notice it says the form name where it's going to be going, what happens when you submit, and our advanced. So we're just going to save this, publish it, and we'll go and visit our website, johnsmithsexample.weebly.com, and into Contact Us. So there's our generic RSVP form and our generic contact form. And that's it.